Okay, sticking with our Chrome video themes that we're going to be going through. So uh, today, this one has changed my life. It's called Salesforce.com Enhanced Formula Editor. And mainly this one's for, I would say, like, eh, anybody can use it. But like for me specifically, why I found this one, it was when I was new um, and I was like just trying to get into like Salesforce stuff. So I didn't really understand a lot of like... Um, you know, some of the functions, different naming conventions, um, getting kind of confused with pairing up parentheses, quotations, when I should use those types of things. Um, so this one was really nice because it color codes all that, kind of like a visual code program that you can use. Um, it does the exact same thing. So you're seeing all that here on these slideshows. Um, I'm not going to try to make this video crazy long, so let's just kind of jump right into it. Um, that's kind of the gist of it. And I wanted to show you a few of these different features up here of like what we can do. So let's actually move this back um, to one line because I see this quite a bit. I like to break mine up into lines as you just saw there. Um, that's personally what I choose to do so that it's a little bit easier to read. And if anybody jumps in, they can check it out. So there's a, a bunch of different features up top here that we have within this Chrome extension that you can get. This one is paid for. I think they've upped the price. It used to be like five bucks a year. It might be 20 bucks a year. Still not too bad. And in my personal opinion, it's worth it, especially if you're learning. Um, it just makes it nice and organized for you. So you have a few different things. So you have your format um, and if we click format, when I have it all in this one line, what it's going to do is it's going to do that work for me and break it down by line, which is super nice. Um, they also have a find and replace. So if I wanted to change, let's say name to, I don't know, ID, we could do that. We could just hit uh, either find it or we could um, actually just replace them all. And if I do that, it changes it like that. So that comes into play very nicely when we have like a lot of different things within our formula that we're trying to look at. Uh, so that one's really nice. Um, we also have a uh, go to line. So if you have like a lot of different lines on here and you want to say go to line four, it'll actually bring you there and highlight it to let you know what it is that you're looking at. So that one's cool. Uh, it does have a full screen feature. That's what this one is. And if I just hover over these things, you can actually see what they are. We can change the font size which is also nice, so it's not just stuck on that very low eight point font. Um, you can take this kind of color coding on and off as well. Um, and then I'm sure there's a few different features that you can use here, but that's kind of the gist of this one. And the main thing that I like about it and what I used it for when I first began is, see how when I write this out and it's an actual function, it will actually change the color. And then it, uh, it gives a different color as you're seeing above, like for the parentheses. It does have parentheses pairing, as you saw. So if I move my cursor over it, it's actually going to show you to say, hey, this is where this one actually opened and here's the closing mark. Um, or in other words, where this is paired up, which is nice if you have several different parentheses. Um, and then the last part before we end this is also quotation. So if I take that quotation out, um, it's not showing that it's really wrapping anything. I have a, a set of quotations on the end there, but not at the beginning. So it's not actually saying that I'm doing anything. So what it's reading it as now is it's looking at this quote and it's saying, okay, we have an opening. So it must mean this all the way to here till it closes. And that's why it changed it blue. So if I put it back over here, it sees, okay, open, close, anything in between is gonna be blue. So super nice one, worth the money. I think it's like 20 bucks, like I said, uh, but still fairly cheap. I would definitely look into this one and uh, throw it on your guys' Chrome for you.